Hey guys, welcome back. In this bonus episode of Field Trips Mexico, we're gonna teach you how to make the ultimate ceviche. So ceviche is a method of cooking fish with no heat. You just allow the citric acid from the juice of limes and lemons to cook the fish while it sits in the fridge. Mix that with some fresh vegetables and peppers and bam, you've got an exotic fresh dish to impress your friends and family, no kitchen required. The best part is it actually gets better with age as those juices and flavors all kind of meld together. So it's perfect for leftovers that you can munch on throughout the week. This time we're using California sheephead that we just caught last episode while we were on Cedros Island by dropping cut mackerel down on the bottom around the kind of rocky kelp beds. I've also used simple store-bought shrimp as bait for these fish. They are bizarre looking, but they're delicious. They munch on lobsters and crabs and shrimp all day. So they've really got that kind of crustacean taste to them. But this recipe would work for just about any fish, especially one with a little bit firmer meat. So I had to fly back here to Texas to get back to work after Mexico. So Mike Ponce from Fish Village, who you just met all series, he agreed to share with us his secret Ponce family ceviche recipe. This has never been aired publicly anywhere before. In fact, he said that some of his family doesn't even know this recipe. It's gonna be a treat. Here we go. Hey, this is Mike Ponce here from Fish Village. And uh, you know how Rob likes to do a catch and cook. So he got lazy, didn't wanna do it, making me do it, and somehow, I took the monkey and I'm going to do it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make Ponce style ceviche. And it's my dad's recipe. He's been making it for 20 plus years, taught us how to make it. And now I'm going to show you how to make it. Not an endorsement, just a personal preference. Okay. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is, the meat's already cut. Jeff at Cedros Kayak Fishing, his crew and everyone there takes care of everything, like down to processing the fish, cutting the skin off if that's what you want. In our case, we wanted to make uh, sheephead ceviche. And the reason why is because in our opinion, we think it's the best. It's got that sweet lobster taste because that's what they munch on all day. And it's just one of our favorites, especially as a, as a Ponce family member. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the meat, we're gonna dice it up, and then we're gonna cut up all the citrus and then get all that fresh citrus on there so we can get cooking. And then we'll process all the vegetables. Let's get started. Have you had sheep and ceviche? No. Um. It's like, seriously, it's like half lobster, half calico. Almost the texture of lobster. Not quite, but almost. I called my dad just before uh, I was gonna make this video and asked him if it was cool with me sharing the recipe and he was like, you know, let the world know. And then the first thing out of his mouth was, what fish are you using? I told him sheephead and he was like, oh, that's the best. Something we love, we know. Anyone that eats it is gonna love it. The fish even smells a little bit like lobster. Even has that texture, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that yesterday morning, like around eight o'clock, we caught this and now we're having ceviche. All right, so the next step is now that the fish is cut, uh, it's all diced up. And I, I dice in the big cubes on purpose because uh, I like to know I'm eating fish, um, especially if it's good. Now I'm gonna squeeze some lemon and some lime. I never use lime juice in a jar or anything like that because it doesn't taste good. So that's why we do it this way. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much because that's part of the secret, but I am gonna tell you all the ingredients. And so whenever you're juicing a citrus fruit, you wanna roll it under pressure before you cut it. This breaks up the tissues and just allows you to get the most you can possibly get out of each one. You're probably gonna ask me, how much lemon, how much lime, to use the same amount of each one. I'm not quite sure I wanna tell you that, but I am. It's weird is the limes tend to produce more juice per lime than lemons do. We'll see if that's true today. Is there such thing as too much juice? Mm, probably. In this particular case, I'm using about a cup each. I just think that's the right amount for the amount of meat I'm using. In most cases, when I make a batch, I probably never use less than half a cup each. So, the meat's cut up. We mixed in the lime lemon juice, added some salt and pepper, nothing else. I could already start starting to see it cure a little bit. So now what I like to do is, uh, I put this in the fridge, and it sits overnight. It gets all the juices in there. So next we got some cucumbers, peel these, then dice these, 
then some tomatoes. I like to use Roma's. I'm gonna cut dice those. That's going in there. And then I'm gonna get to the hot stuff. These smell good, nice and fresh. Reminds me of the pina cucumber drink that, that the cook, or I can't even call her that. She did everything for us. She was like mom practically, but she made this awesome pina cucumber drink. It was super light, a little bit sweet. I already miss it. The peppers that we're using are jalapenos, serranos, and yellow chilies. Oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> These are gonna be hot. Don't judge me on my knife skills. I'm no chef. I make good food, but I don't know how to speed dice and all that stuff. I want to keep my fingers so I can keep fishing. The jalapeno serranos, as you would imagine, are the spicy ones, and then the yellow just adds a really good flavor. It helps balance it out. Uh, they're not very, not very hot. Uh, they can be from time to time, but most of the time they're not. Already getting hot. I'm already sweating. All right, the last thing we gotta do is finish this. Dice this, I thought we were done, but uh, I was just getting excited and I'm also kind of getting hungry. So, and the cilantro. Uh, normally I do one bunch, but these are kind of small. So I wanna make sure we get a lot of flavor in there. So do that last. I'll try to power through this onion and not start crying. But anyone that knows me knows I'm a crier, so it's probably not gonna happen. Oh, jeez. There's those break cuts. Oh, it's, uh, it's a doozy. I usually don't like red onion. But in ceviche, it's necessary, in my opinion. Well, at least in our in ours. I love all kinds of ceviche. I'm not biased, not at all. It is making my eyes burn. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. If you don't remember, I already washed it. You gotta wash this stuff. Salute. Last thing we gotta do is mix these two things together. I gotta clean the fish juice out because Sylvie gets upset when I leave it in the fridge. Happy wife, happy life. All right, see, I think this is always cool. I didn't add more juice. All I did was use the juice that you saw on me, I put it in there and it's pulling all that moisture out of the fish and it creates a, I don't know, just 
deliciousness. The last thing we gotta do. Apologize, I'm stifling so much. It's just all this cut stuff. Joe's had this before, so he's starting to get excited. You can make this recipe just with about any kind of fish. You can, I mean, you can do it with tuna, yellowtail. I'm sure any kind of East Coast fish. It's not just a you know a Mexican thing, or it has to be caught in you know West Coast of California. It doesn't have to be our sheephead. Um, I've done it with bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, yellowtail, calico bass, sand bass, halibut, rockfish. She's just about just about anything. So now that I have uh, all these vegetables, I'm going to add a little bit more salt and pepper, and just a hint of garlic. Not a lot. <laughs> The final recipe, and I have this approved from my dad, so I had to ask him. He's always kept it secret, so half my family right now is going to find out what the actual recipe is. The secret sauce is cocktail sauce. It doesn't necessarily matter what the brand is, just regular cocktail sauce. Just mix it together. Right now you see a little red, but once that juice gets in here, that red will start to dissipate a little bit. Some people think that you add ketchup and mayo and stuff. I don't, I don't do any of that crap. And I don't like shrimp cocktail either. You won't, you won't taste it in this. All the, all the juices and spices and everything kind of hide it. The ponces don't lead you astray. We like to eat. We like to eat good. So this is our catch and cook. And tomorrow, we'll eat it. I'll see you then. All right, guys, so there you have it. The Ponce Secret Family Ceviche Recipe Cocktail Sauce is that magic ingredient. You know, when I was eating it, I couldn't put my finger on what I was tasting but that's what it was. And it doesn't make it real red looking. I mean, you wouldn't even know that it was in there, but those spices, those flavors, they really kind of bring it all together. It was delicious. One of, if not the best ceviches I've ever had in my whole life. Now, it definitely had some heat, so if you're a little sensitive to heat, maybe go a little easier on the peppers, but all in all, this is an incredible recipe you could use with any fish or even shrimp. Now, I goofed and he gave me a bowl of that right before I left. I was supposed to film myself eating it to show you guys my reaction and I totally forgot. I just got carried away and ate it all and didn't film anything, but take my word for it, it was delicious. Do you have a ceviche recipe? Because ceviche can be made a bunch of different ways and I absolutely love to eat it. So I would like to hear from you, anyone out there that's got their own ceviche recipe, they wouldn't mind sharing with me, comment it down below. I plan on making ceviche with some kind of unorthodox fish as I make my way around the United States. So maybe if I dig your recipe, I'll use it in a future cook, catch and cook and shout you out in the video. But for now guys, that's all we got. I hope you enjoy this little bonus cooking episode. Next up, we got more stuff from right here in the US of A. I'll catch you next week.